Looks like a nice day to do some Christmas shopping. The shopping mall seems to be pretty empty. That is, except for this ravenous horde of Zeds. <laughs> so I've got my handy 92 FS. But when one handgun isn't enough, you need two! <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> Still just six shooters. Where'd you come from? Well, I am playing currently as the gunslinger because I am slinging guns. Well, not quite. Slinging bullets, I guess. Although, I don't know where that term comes from, so maybe I am slinging guns. <laughs> so these are pretty great first gun if you can actually hit something. And the reason that I say that is because on an enemy like a Gorefest, they are a one-hit shot to the head. So with my however many shots I start off with, that's a whole lot of Zed killing potential. But for the clots, it works just fine. Well, while I'm waiting for the Zeds to come kill me and make my way over to the zone... Ah! <laughs> I forgot about fall damage. I can play around with some of my sweet revolver skills. It's just one of the different animations you can do. There should be three of them that you get just by hitting reload. Although perhaps there are only two for this revolver. A oh, little bit trickier, aren't you? Perfection. That guy's not a problem, though. So my first upgrade is actually a 1911. And there's only one of them here. But the cool thing about Gunslinger is that as I get more money, I can actually upgrade piecemeal. So I can get one now, and then I can get the other without having to spend like a total upgrade cost and selling the old one. This one is a little bit of a tricky gun to use uh, just by itself because it only is a seven plus one for a total of eight rounds. So. It's not extremely powerful, so you still have to be careful with your shots. I don't really know if there's much of... Oh, God! <laughs> Oof. As you can see, I'm getting myself back into a corner, literally and figuratively. Let's get back to basics with these guys. So I forgot about the zone as well. Let's make sure we get some extra money from that. So as you can see here... I don't really have sights that I can use. I, I just sort of aim down both of them and have to average out where the middle is. And it's not too much of a problem. But with some of the faraway enemies, it can be difficult. Okay, save that zone. How much cash do we get? Oh, 80 bucks? Ugh. Well, this Zed killing's gotten me hungry. Let's head into the Ristorante. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I can use some chicken chow mein over here. Something's here. Ah! Cloaked. <laughs> Let's take care of these invisible guys. Interrupting my lunch break. So, as promised, I have the double 1911s. You can see that it doubles the capacity because I have double the guns. Gotta focus and kill that guy. Ah, no problem. Ah, <laughs> getting blocked in again. Getting body blocked. Luckily, Zed Time's helped me be extremely accurate. Though, in these close quarters, I am at a disadvantage. Perfection. One of the things that trips me up a little bit is that when you add that second gun, so the fact that I added another 1911 here, it moves from my second slot, where handguns are, to my first slot. So you can see over on the top, I'm now having two primaries, and that 1911's gone away from that second slot. Whew, my ears are betraying me here. Oh, no, so are my magazines. <laughs> no. God, this shopping mall is fraught with danger. Too much panic shooting, too. Not ideal for how long these reloads take me. Yes. Gotta be more accurate. We got the oh, come on. There we go. Two sirens. Oh, no! <laughs> it never occurred to me that someone was gonna come behind me. Ugh. Well, while these handguns are nice... Definitely itching to upgrade to the next level. Perfect. 
Ooh. <laughs> that was easy. Let's get you restocked. Uh, another zone to protect. You know what would be cool? Is if I could take these two 1911s and actually morph them into a single double 1911. Ka-chaw! <laughs> that is what we have here. The... Oh, jeez, what is this called? AF-2011-A1. <laughs> Woo! Huh, where is that coming from? Got big footsteps coming, too. Ugh. Not enough for him, and probably not that robot, either. So a little bit more about this thing. It really is just two 1911s put side by side. You can see the ammo capacity is 16, so that's 7 plus 1 times 2. It has uh, two mags, uh, two barrels, two slides, two hammers, two firing pins. <laughs> I don't know who thought this thing up. It is, wow, it is a real thing. Um, I'm not sure what kind of production batches there are right now, but um, yeah, this thing is real and I can get around this scrake. I can kind of collect myself and tell you a little bit more about it. So it is powerful, but because it just fires two rounds with one shot, it's essentially just like a, a more powerful 1911. I'm going to throw these like nail pipe bombs, try and weaken them up. Hopefully not enrage that scrake just yet. Totally forgot about that sight as well. It looks like I'm not going to make any money off of this one. So I might as well just go somewhere to protect myself a little bit better. Woohoo! Hell yeah! Let's clear some of these guys out, and then I can focus on that Scrake. Okay. Think I can get him in one mag? Or kind of two mags? <laughs> we shall see. Oh, I missed that last one. I really thought I would be able to get him. Oh, I might have if I would have been able to pull a headshot there. And now the double 1911s become two double 1911s. <laughs> Quadruple 1911 power. Although not all in the same gun. So we're just uh, dual wielding these bad boys. Should be double the firepower, though. Slightly more reload, though. Many, many but you know what? I'll take it. Ah, <laughs> it's tripping me up. Uh-oh. What is that, though? What the? God, they just come out of nowhere, don't they? <laughs> Speaking of which... Die! I gotta clear my way. Come on, get him! Yes! <laughs> These things are not letting me down. So what is fun to see is the ammo count on the bottom. You can see that uh, it says I have 32 rounds, but really that's cut in half, and then kind of cut in half again. Because we're going double, and then... But it's not double because they're two separate guns. I don't know, you know what I mean. <laughs> so if this isn't enough, I also have... A Desert Eagle. And surprisingly, this isn't as devastating as you might think. There is a handgun that sits above it called the 500 Magnum. But this thing is still powerful in its own right. Uh, we're missing a couple enemies. They're all stuck over there. <laughs> Precision shots with the 50 AE. That's 50 Action Express. That is the round that this thing fires. So it's 50 caliber, but that just kind of describes the round a little bit better than saying 50 cal, because there are a lot of 50 cals. And to further illustrate that point, I'm going to head over here and buy another 50 caliber, the 500 Magnum Revolver, which is a bigger bullet, more powerful, more hilarious, and uh, that's what counts, right? <laughs> so here it is. This one only holds five rounds. It is a revolver. Let's see if I can check the chamber. It's going to be a no, so... There it is there. This is one of my favorite handguns uh, just because it is so powerful. I love the the hand cannon philosophy, which is just having something with the, 
a low ammo count. It's a very pre precision gun. Doesn't necessarily have to be in a handgun like this, but that's really the way that I like to play and the types of guns that I gravitate towards. Time's up. Go Let's hang out in set. here. Shoot some pool. What do you think the odds are that I can actually move one? Oh, I can. I can't move the balls. Pretty cool. But I hear someone coming. So let's prep this. Oh, no, not that way. 500 Magnum. Think I can get a one shot to the head? Nope. I need to uh, find a way out. Looks like this is open for now. I'm trying not to use this too much now because ammunition is expensive. <laughs> gonna have to save one mag for each of these guys, I think. Whoa, how did he explode like that? <laughs> Still coming, are ya? Whew. So if you can spray effectively... Whoa, Look, I guess I damaged him earlier. <laughs> this thing's not that powerful. Oh, those five rounds go away quickly. And again, every time. Let's finish him off with the Deagle. What do you say? Oh, <laughs> wow, he was close to being dead. So that worked out quite nicely. It's now time to unleash the dual desert eagles. Whew. That one over there stuck up on me, but <laughs> I had eyes on that first one. Is there another one here? Nope, just a spider. So the Desert Eagle has uh, a little more ammunition than the 500 Magnum, but a bit less powerful, despite being that same caliber. As I mentioned earlier, it's a uh, different bullet. But still, two to the head on that guy, and how many did the siren? That's a miss. One, two... Was that two? Three? I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Ooh. Saw you out of the, well, corner of my sights, I guess. She was really just right in the middle of my sight picture anyways. Oh, no. Dr. Volter. This is full panic mode. And there's not a lot of great cover on this map, but luckily... I have a grand total of seven handguns to protect me. I have dual 500 Magnums, dual Desert Eagles, which I should reload. <laughs> Luckily those slides tell me that it is empty, or they are empty. And dual 1911s, as well as my 92FS. So I should be good to go. But you never know. So where is he? Is he just slowly following me? Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> I need some cover. I'm going to start off with these guys, see how much damage we can do. The answer is not a lot. Hopefully I was missing a lot. Ooh. Okay, so that looks like a, uh, maybe 20% of his health there. Oh, God! I forgot there were other enemies here. That's not fair. As well as his, his gas traps. Ooh, this is bad. Okay, so he's got his uh, shields are gone now. How did that happen? Huh. So the mechanic there is that once he gets his shields, he goes into an enraged mode, and he runs at you, and if he's able to grab you, he'll actually recharge a lot of his health. But for some reason, his shields just disappeared. Well, now he's running at me, and now he's got shields again? I, I don't really know. But I hope these guys don't grab me, because he is... I gotta get him before he uh, starts to grab me. <laughs> so he's sucking some of the health from me, and you can see his health bar going back up. I thought I was gonna be able to counter that by uh, being able to switch quickly to my other handguns, but they're being tricky right now with being in slots that I'm not expecting. <laughs> so I gotta get those all reloaded, get some health, and then uh, get back to it. Oh, he's running at me again. What was that all about? So let's get back to these. I think get back to my third. Oh god, this is bad. Oh, tell me there's stairs. They're not stairs. <laughs> no. What? No. Come on. How is this fair? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. <laughs> no. It's a bug. Save me. Somebody save me. Somehow got out of the corner. 
I don't know how he's stunned, but I, I don't really know what happened at all. <laughs> Gotta get some health for myself, though. Okay, let's get everything reloaded again. He's right behind me, I think. Oh, God. No! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him do a backwards flip. <laughs> oh my gosh. That. That was the definition of stressful. Whew. So I forgot to talk about my character. I am playing as... Oh, I forgot his name. Hayato Tanaka? I think he is a uh, Japanese film star who got some kind of crazy belief that he became his evil character. But doesn't matter. <laughs> because <laughs> he was able to get the job done and kill Dr. Hans Volter. So thank you for watching this episode of Killing Floor 2, some of the perk gameplay with Gunslinger. Hope you enjoyed this. I didn't think I was going to make it out of there, but got the job done with those there, the 500 Magnum Revolver. So again, thank you guys for watching. Like if you liked the video. Comment down below. Just as a reminder, that's the number one way it's most motivation helped keep me going. I really appreciate you guys because uh, I'm not you know, running ads or anything. But if you'd like to, subscribe to the channel. Love to see you around here. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.